Brian Raybach, Julia Moss. We're here, pleased to be joined by Fordham alum Nick Zakel. Nick, it was just a couple of years ago you were playing on Jack Coffee Field. Now you're surrounded in all the Super Bowl media hype. Just take me through the emotions and how this week's been treating you. Yeah, I mean, it's a really surreal experience, you know, just being able to uh, kind of experience uh, the Super Bowl and all the festivities and stuff. And, you know, it's kind of, it's very humbling, you know, it's very exciting too to kind of uh, know where you came from and kind of the people who supported you there and kind of just being, um, just, you know, just kind of just want to show out for kind of that next generation, kind of making sure these, these new Fordham guys coming in know that success is possible at a great place with great people. And even just from standing in here, a couple of your teammates that saw our Fordham gear and said you got to get Nick where does that Fordham pride come from because according to your teammates you talk about Fordham quite a bit <laughs> yeah I mean just Fordham in New York I think it's just kind of like the small school uh, aspect of it you know kind of from a, a school that not many guys uh, not many people have even heard of uh, I mean hell I did not hear of it until I, I got an offer from there but um, you know I mean one of the best decisions I've made in my life kind of making the uh, being able to go to Fordham and I just think that's it's very surreal just you know it's 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 very important to be proud where you come from. I think that just kind of, uh, I know that the people uh, at Fordham who helped me get to this point are, are kind of happy as well. Well, and your time at Fordham, you know, great player, and obviously now you're here with the 49ers, but when looking back on your time as a Fordham Ram, just what are some of the highlights you had playing there and playing with that team? Oh, I mean, there's a ton of great, great memories I have, just even, not even from the games, just kind of the, uh, workouts, hanging out with your friends, all that kind of stuff. I'd probably say, like, I have two off the top of my head, probably that 2019 game at home against Richmond, you know, just having a CAA team come near uh, home and kind of the, you know, the stigma behind it, CAA is a better conference, all that all that type of stuff. And we kind of, I think we uh, we handled them, defeated them, you know, that was a really, really big win for us. And then kind of, um, you know, there's great experiences as well, such I think the Nebraska, uh, my last, my last year there, which is such a cool experience, kind of being able to, uh, see all the culture of Husker Stadium, the fans, uh, and just kind of being able to be a part of like a big, big time football uh, for that for that day. Absolutely, and you know, we, there's a Fordham Ram playing in the Super Bowl, but also, you know, you look at someone like Tim Demore at just this off season getting signed by the Washington Commanders to the practice squad. Where is the direction of this Fordham Rams football program going in a sense of, you know, there's already so much hype around Fordham athletes getting NFL attention? Yeah, I think that's something that kind of definitely uh, trickles down to the recruiting aspect. I know Coach Collins is doing a great job on everyone on his staff down there. I think that definitely has the program uh, on the uptrending. I think that's something that uh, it's a testament to the hard work of the coaches, hard work of the players, and it's something that I think that uh, – really instilled in the culture of the team. I think that's something that Coach Collin, when he got there uh, back in, what was that, 18 uh, or 19 even, uh, that's something that he wanted to install in the culture of kind of a hardworking, uh, tough-nosed team. I think he's uh, gone and done that. I think it's um, just really a lot a lot to, uh, only only way to goes up. And you've had a chance to play with quarterbacks like Tim Demore, very talented guys, but now playing with Brock Purdy, got a chance to know him pretty well. Just how has it been just seeing him grow into the role that he's developed now with this team? Yeah, I mean, it's something that really means a lot, especially because of you know, being close to him, just kind of seeing how he has his preparation in each day. Um, I just think it's something that's very important as well, and I'm really really proud of him, and uh, I can't wait for the game Sunday. Thank you, Nick. Hey, guys, have a good one.